What's going on webheads and welcome back to another video on the Spider Pops channel and today got a box. That's right. Miss Spider Pops got us a wicked awesome Valentine's Day gift and I am just wicked stoked about it so it's time for another video on the Spider Pops channel. It's going to be wicked cool what we got to show off for all of you guys today. I'm sure you guys already know from the title of the video but just going to be a wicked awesome one and I can't wait to just hop right into it so make sure you guys stick around till the end. Alright so as you guys know from the title of the video today we're going to be going over a Spider-Man web shooter. That's right the wicked lovely Miss Spider Pops got us our very own web shooter and she got it online as well so it is going to be accessible for all of you guys to purchase as well and we'll make sure to put a link in the description down below if I'm able to find a similar one to the one that Miss Spider Pops got for me but it, it is just really awesome starting off with just like the presentation of the box it, it already looks wicked high tech you can see right there it has a pretty cool little diagram of what the web shooter is actually going to look like and we've done previous web shooter videos on the spider pops channel i have made a couple of homemade web shooters that are that use springs in order to actually propel a projectile with a magnet attached to it so it can stick to surfaces but this one is actually a little bit different because as you can see when we open the box that's high tech right there that is high tech because right here we got ourselves a retractable web shooter. So not only can you fire this web shooter, but with the press of a button, it'll come right back to you. So you can grab things from across the room. You can do all sorts of wicked awesome things with this. So in the box, we do have this really nice foam cutout that they actually have it to keep it nice and secure in the box while it's being shipped. And it also does come with a screwdriver for maintenance and then a charger for the actual retractable aspect of the web shooter. So wicked awesome right there. Wicked awesome little accessories that it does come with. And then it also does have this suction cup they can actually attach to the end of the actual projectile. That way you can attach it to smooth surfaces like a window. It uses some really strong neodymium magnets to be able to attach to things and it makes it really convenient for attaching other things as well because this is literally just a suction cup with some neodymium magnets that can attach to the end of it right there and that makes it really convenient for attaching different accessories to the end of it. So wicked cool aspect of it right here. And then here we do have the instruction for the web shooters. So it does go over everything that you are going to need in order to operate this. And then also does have a few questions on the back and does explain how you can actually replace a few aspects of the web shooter. So if it does end up breaking over time, it does seem like it is something that is easy to tinker with. And I'm really interested in getting an in-depth look of this web shooter over time. And then maybe one day we'll be able to make our own wicked cool retractable spider pops web shooter But that's in the future. So for now, let's go ahead and test out this wicked cool one right here So it does have a velcro strap, which is a little bit of a struggle sometimes in a spider-man suit I found out about that when I was making my first iterations of the spider pops web shooters and I use velcro straps in order to attach those and I found out it does like to snag to the suits that we use on the channel quite a lot so you do have to be have to be careful with that if you're planning on wearing this with your own suit but it does have a really adjustable strap for all wrist sizes I have some pretty skinny wrists right there as you can see and it is pretty snug right there and you can see it has a really secure fit. You can see the trigger right there is wicked responsive so I'm just absolutely stoked about that. With all of my other iterations of the web shooter the trigger of the web shooters actually did also function as the catch mechanism for the actual projectile and for this one it is actually not the case. The catch mechanism is actually inside of the actual casing and then the trigger is just something that compresses these springs right here in order to actually release the catch mechanism inside. But as you can see right here, all we really need to do to fire this wicked awesome web shooter is to push the projectile down until you hear a click. And as you can see right there, it's ready to go. 
Go, Web. Fly. Up, up, and away, Web! Shazam. Go. Go, Web, go. <laughs> Wicked cool, right? Alright, now that you fired your Web, all you gotta do is press the button. And it got stuck in a spider pop desk. All right, now all you gotta do is retract the web shooter. And there you go. It's back. So that makes it really convenient for doing all sorts of things. You can literally be Spider-Man with this web shooter. So honestly, wicked awesome. Any like metal object that you can think of, you can pretty much grab with it. I'll try to grab a little Spider-Man keychain over there real quick to demonstrate. All right. And there we got it. Gingerbread Spidey is right where he belongs. So pretty awesome. Definitely didn't take us 50 tries just to get that uh, Gingerbread Spidey to uh, snap into our hands. But just the fact that you can do that in general, well worth the price, let me tell you. Because that was honestly wicked cool. I'll probably be messing around with that a whole lot of my free time. Definitely takes some practice for sure because it is a bit different aiming this thing opposed to anything else you might have aimed in your life so definitely something that's going to be taking a little bit of getting used to in the instructions it does say to add two magnets for consistent range because otherwise it's going to shoot a little bit short sometimes and be a little bit sporadic anytime you fire it but with the two magnets i seem to get it to pretty much fire as far as it can actually go which i believe is around like nine feet but the cool thing about it is that the thread in the actual web shooter is replaceable. So if you did want to put some longer string inside the actual web shooter, it does look like that is a possibility. So wicked awesome product. Super stoked that we do have it in the Spider Pops collection and is going to be really convenient. We can have web shooters back in Spider Pops videos because this one is honestly a lot more convenient than the homemade ones that we had before. Before each video, when I used to use those, I literally had to like wind up each of the threads in the web shooter with a pencil and if I had a misfire that's literally an extra like 20 minutes that I'm spending with the camera off rewinding the webbing for the web shooter just to put it back in to fire at the end of the video so definitely a bit of a struggle with those previous web shooters but with this one all we got to do is press a button and it's rewinding back into the web shooter so wicked convenient definitely going to make it really nice for the spider pops videos so I am so grateful that Miss Spider Pops was actually able to get this for me for Valentine's Day Definitely one of the coolest Valentine's Day gifts I've ever gotten. So thank you so much to Miss Spider Pops for that. You were the bestest in the world and I love you so much. But with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this Wicked Webtastic Web Shooter review. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did recording it for all of you guys. I'm so stoked we finally have a Web Shooter back on the channel. Going to be wicked fun. The Spider Pops videos are always a fun excuse to use really awesome gadgets like this. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the future Webtastic action. You'll see the brand new web shooter in action along with a bunch more of Wicked Webtastic videos planned for this 2023. But with that being said, that is going to do it for this video on the Spider Pops channel. So make sure you guys are staying safe out there, staying frosty and having fun, of course. Have an amazing rest of your day, webheads. Bye bye Alright, six times a charm. <sighs> one day, one day, hold on. Nice.